What's going on, everyone? Jared Stanley here with our post-game recap. The Rangers beat the Blue Jays 7-4 in the first night game. Globe Life Field history and the regular season, which the Rangers played in front of fans. It was a really fun one. It took only two and a half hours, in part because Dane Dunning was so good. At his Rangers debut, Dunning went five innings. He throws the fastball to the arm side really well. The slider against righties was effective. He's got a solid changeup. Didn't see a whole lot from the curveball. But what I really like about the sinker, which is his bread and butter, is he's not only able to get weak contact on the ground, but he's also able to get swings and misses. A lot of times sinker ballers don't get a ton of swings and misses, uh, but Dunning was able to do that here tonight. He looked really sharp, gave up a run on a Bo Bichette homer in the first, and then settled down. He closed his evening retiring 10 straight. So really, really nice night for Dane Dunning. And another really nice game for Nate Lowe, two home runs. For Nate, he's now got 14 RBIs leading the majors. It's the franchise record for most RBIs through five games in team history. He's got a five-game RBI streak, two games shy of the franchise record to start a season set by Juan Gonzalez uh, in 1998 with seven. So Nate Lowe continues to uh, look sharp. He's got two hits to right, two hits uh, to center, and three hits to left. Uh, so he's really spraying the ball all over the yard so far uh, this season. Uh, Taylor Hearn came on after Dane Dunning. He had a good inning and a, and a shaky inning. First inning was really good. The second inning uh, it was a little off, and, and that's kind of been the trend with Taylor, the consistency. When he's on, he is almost unhittable. It's about bottling that up and, and bringing that inning to inning. Uh, hey, who said the ball doesn't carry here? Six home runs in this game, and the first time uh, that a team has hit four home runs with the roof closed, and for the Rangers, regardless of Ruth's closed or open, a franchise record four home runs for them here at Globe Life Field. Uh, the Astros had four home runs as a visiting team last year in this park, but the Rangers get it done uh, in their park with the roof closed. Nate Lowe, the third multi-home run game in this park. Sam Huff and Ruby Meadow door the other. Speaking of Ruby, the Rangers traded Ruby to the Yankees today, uh, along with cash considerations. For Josh Stowers, uh, his former second-round pick out of Louisville, and Antonio Cabello, who baseball prospectus ranked as the 20th best prospect in the Yankee system. Cabello's a catcher outfielder. Stowers is an outfielder. Really surprised the Rangers were able to get this sort of value. Apparently, there was some demand for Rookie. There were multiple offers on the table. This was the one the Rangers felt like was best. So the Rangers do get some return for Rookie. Whether these guys amount to anything or not, it uh, doesn't matter. The Rangers have something. Uh, that they can show for Ruben Neto door doesn't make this situation a huge victory, but it's, it's obviously better than nothing. And then Brett Barton will throw two innings tomorrow as the alternate site team begins its season, I guess, with a couple of scrimmages against the Astros alternate site team. Brett Barton will throw two innings tomorrow. And there's a chance that Brett's back by this weekend. Brock Holt left the game late with what appeared to be something of a foot injury, more information on that later on, but the Rangers get the win seven to four. They had 11 hits, uh, contributions from a lot of people. Nate Lowe, the highlight of the box. Dane Dunning, the highlight on the mound. Talk to you guys later.